Hey guys, it's Emilio Garcia and welcome to Emilio's Bakery. It's National Chocolate Chip Cookie Day, so we're gonna be celebrating by making two different batches of cookies. Over here, we got uh, just standard chocolate chip cookies. And over here on my left, we're gonna be making a healthier version of chocolate chip cookies with the main ingredient being dry oats. So starting off, we're gonna start with the original chocolate chip cookie. We're gonna be uh, whisking in the dry ingredients. So I originally got into baking because I was scrolling to my social media feed and I saw someone making brownies and he was using like very simple ingredients. So I thought to myself, you know, I could do that. I didn't do brownies, but I did like red velvet cookies. And I think I used like a cake mix or something, but I made it into like a cookie. So I just like pretty much fell in love with baking after that. For our next step, we're gonna be creaming together our butter and our sugars together in this stand mixer that we got here. Some of my favorite things to bake are, of course, cookies. I love doing cheesecakes too. And uh, those are probably my two, my two go-tos when uh, baking. I am in a weight cutting sport. How I usually do it because these are so like pretty, you know, high calorie sweets that I'm making. I take care of business, you know, in the ring. And after to celebrate, I just decide to make my own stuff and celebrate back home. Now that we reached our desired consistency, we're going to add our eggs and vanilla extract. All right. So now that we're done mixing over here, we're going to go ahead and stop it. Lift up this thing and we're going to add our dry ingredients. You know, I usually look online for like some recipes and it even went as far as like, you know, me buying several cookbooks. Eventually I want to start, you know, creating like my own recipes. So for this chocolate chip cookie recipe that I'm using right now, I got the recipe from uh, Matthew Mero. He has some good, uh, some recipes out there. He has a good cookbook. I have his cookbook too. And you know, there's, there's plenty of recipes if you want to make stuff like this at home. Now that our dry ingredients and wet ingredients are combined, we're going to go ahead and add the little mini chocolate chips that we got here. Now that we got our chocolate chip cookie dough ready, we're going to go ahead and set this bowl to the side. And we're going to go ahead and move on to our healthier version, which is the oatmeal chocolate chips. We're going to start off by mixing our dry oats with our baking soda. It's always good to have a healthier version on the table because, you know, I guess you won't feel that guilty eating some sweets. So next we're gonna mix all the rest of the ingredients except our chocolate chips. So you can go ahead and check out Ambitious Kitchen if you all wanna make some healthier alternatives to these sweets that we're making. That's where I got this one from. So now that we got this mixture going, we're gonna go ahead and add our chocolate chips. Now that we added in our chocolate chips, we're gonna go ahead and add our dry oats. So now we're gonna add the best part. We're gonna add our peanut butter. So now that we got both our cookie mixtures here, we're gonna go ahead and form them into little cookie dough balls and just prep them out. All right, now that we got our cookie dough balls ready, we're gonna put them in the oven. This one's gonna go at 375 and our healthier version is gonna be at 350. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes. So now uh, we got our cookies out and we're gonna let them rest and just chill out for a bit. Now it's time for my favorite part, uh, taste testing. So we're gonna start off with the one I'm really looking forward to was like the healthier version. So we're gonna break that up. I think that's really good. I, I taste the peanut butter, the chocolate. Yeah, these came out really good. Now we got the regular chocolate chip, so we're gonna go ahead and try that. They're both good, but you can't be regular chocolate chip. 